Victorians. Grace, darling, darling, you've got a fun letter. A fun letter for me, father? It hardly seems possible. Nonsense. Everybody's talking about how you rowed that little boat out to the wrecked ship off the Farn Islands to rescue those people. Darling, you're the darling, darling of the newspapers. Of course, it was actually me who rowed the boat out to the wrecked ship. All you did was keep it steady while I carried the injured people aboard, but nobody seemed very interested in me. Dear Grace, I was so inspired by your strength and bravery that I've painted a picture of you and put it on my wall. Do you think I might have a lock of your hair? Oh, what a charming letter. Of course you may. Give a couple more fun letters. Oh, really, people are so kind. Dear Grace, you are my heroine. You're so brave and fearless. I'd have been too scared to go out all on my own like that. Of course, you weren't on your own. I was there, but nobody cares about that because I'm a big bloke with a lighthouse and you're a heroic little girl. Though you were actually nearly 23 when we rescued those people, but who's counting? Luckily, I'm not bitter. She wants a lock of your hair. This one wants a lock of me hair as well. Well, you can he give them all hair. Oh, it's just three letters. Horseman! Thank you so much for your letter and request for a lock of my hair. Sadly, it is the 2,000th such request and I am no longer able to honour it. Do you think you could write again in a couple of months when it's grown back? And in the meantime, here's a toenail clipping. Oh, she'll be delighted with that. It's a beauty. Grace Darling was so famous, people kept asking for locks of her hair and she nearly went bald. <laughs> people never asked me for locks of my hair. <laughs> What's that? Probably because it's covered in poo. The problem being, time now to meet another famous Victorian woman. 